you. A local driver now says it sounded like a bomb going off when a car fell off an overpass and landed directly on top of her SUV. Tonight, that woman is telling her story only to WPBF 25 News. Ari Height joins us live now with her story and what she thought of first after the impact. Ari? Well, let me set this up for you. Angie Lewis was driving here Thursday night around 10 o'clock. She was going west here on PJ Boulevard in Palm Beach Gardens. She stopped at the traffic light. You can see where the green lights are right underneath the overpass there. She was sitting there talking to her friend. They were waiting for the light to turn green. She describes what happened next as complete chaos. I can't even tell you what happened. I couldn't at that moment figure out what was happening. But all of a sudden, my roof caved in in the back of the truck. The truck shook, and then I realized a car had come off the 95 on-ramp above us and landed on us. It was around 10 p.m. Thursday night. Angie Lewis was with a friend, stopped at a traffic light on PGA Boulevard by the 95 on-ramps in Palm Beach Gardens. It sounded like an explosion. Um, I thought maybe a bomb went off or someone rammed into the stopped cars, and then I thought maybe the bridge collapsed. And then she saw the Mercedes and realized it had fallen from the I-95 overpass directly above her. Palm Beach Gardens police say the car was driven by a juvenile who was trying to get away from officers. He took the curve too fast and fell off the side onto Angie's Yukon Denali. It was chaos. There were parts all over the road. There was the Mercedes in the middle of the road on all four tires. It was like a movie seen out of a movie, but I was living it. Somehow nobody was injured. The back half of Angie's roof had collapsed onto the back seats. Nobody was sitting there at the time, but it is where her young daughters always sit when they're with her. I mean, it, it comes in waves. I think about it. I cry because it's her seat that got demolished. And had she been there, she not, may not be here now. Angie describes herself as lucky. Lucky her girls weren't in the vehicle. Lucky she wasn't parked a few feet farther back. Lucky to still be alive. And when I think about what could have happened, I didn't sleep at all last night. My heart was racing. I couldn't breathe. But we're here. And that's the important thing. Palm Beach Gardens Police have not yet said exactly why they were stopping this vehicle. They've only said it was for a traffic violation. They also have said that they apprehended the driver, but right now it's not clear what, if anything, that driver is charged with. That is the very latest reporting live in Palm Beach Gardens. Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.